everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and today I'm going to bring you a bag from the flat iron line. And here she is. Here's a catalog photo of this bag, new in 1997. This particular one is a flat iron zip. I don't know how many bags were part of the flat iron line, but I will tell you that this is a feature of the bags. As you can see in the other, uh, in the photo, the other bag that's in that one is called the flat iron sling. And it also features very different bag, but it features this type of like buckling strap. I don't know what else to call it. It's just this like really decorative buckle strap, unique. And that's unique to the flat iron line. Um, so yeah, this is the only flat iron bag that I have currently in my possession. I am eyeballing a sling that needs some work. I have a lot of bags to get through. I don't know if I'm going to get it, but I really do like these bags. I like the leather. It's soft and smooth. Looking at the price tag, it looks like it was a much pricier bag for $19.97. I think this one was did it say 248 the sling over $300? Um, but yeah, no outside pockets on this bag and it is lined. It just has this really deep pocket. And it does have a zip pocket on the inside. The lining actually comes out on this bag, which is where the creed's going to be. So I'll go ahead and show you. This is L7B4147, style number. L represents the month. You will omit typically. Um, I, so L is going to represent the month of November, 1997. That's what the seven represents. If you see 07, that's 2007. Starting uh, in 1994, they put style numbers on bags and they started with four for 1994. So once you get up to 2004, that's where it jumps to 04. And so you have 04, 05, 06. But up until then, it's seven, eight, nine, zero, one, zero is going to represent 2000. One is going to represent 2001. Um, two is 2002. So again, it doesn't start going to zero, zero four until 2004. Okay. And then B is just a factory. I don't know where those factories are. Maybe one day um, somebody will put out some sort of list. Somebody will have that information out. That would be great to know. But um, we do know that it's a U.S. factory and the creed matches uh, the fact that it's a U.S. factory bag because it says made in the U.S. So um, just because you have all those features doesn't mean your bag is authentic. There's a uh, font that is important. Uh, you know, you've got to know a little bit more. There are resources out there. There's a lot of fake information out there too. So I just, I recommend that you just, you find a group that you like, um, whether it be on Facebook, I mentioned before, I'm a member of um, Coach Counterfeits and the Vintage Coach Cult. I'm a member of other groups as well. There's so many knowledgeable people. There's a purse forum, which I know a lot of people like. Uh, there's a lot of things out there. So a lot of opportunity to be part of a community where there's experts and people who know a lot about authenticating bags and therefore, um, yeah, can help you. I will tell you, there's also a lot of, uh, uh, groups out there that really don't know how to authenticate. I, uh, I was in a group. I'm not going to say what group it was. And somebody posted a bag, which is literally museum quality, new with tags, New York City bag, had a paste in. Um, the paste in was upside down. That happens. And they said it was fake. I was like, what? Oh my God. Really? What? Really? Oh my God, this bag is not only fake, it belongs in a museum. So, okay, whatever. Um, so not everybody knows what they're talking about. Just keep that in mind uh, and uh, maybe get a, a few different opinions. 
but okay. This is the flat iron zip. Flat irons feature this buckle piece. Ten and a half by nine and a half inches by two and a half inches. With a strap drop, let's measure it. Well, strap drop, strap drop of 12 inches. This is how she is. She's a shoulder bag. Wear with the buckle in the back or wear with the buckle in the front. All right. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more uh, vintage coach talk talk about bags that maybe aren't talked about often um, on YouTube at this particular moment in time. Maybe they'll start. Coach made so many different styles, so many different bags, literally, because I I, this is a passion of mine. I look all the time and I find something new almost on a daily basis. They're always surprising me. Coach was never easy. They're a bit complicated but they had some really nice quality leather bags and I want to talk about them. I want to get them all. I want to make them look pretty. I'm gonna put them back out there and I wanna talk about them. So if you like that, subscribe to my channel. Also, you can catch some rehab videos. All right, thanks for watching, bye-bye.